Wanna see something pretty handsome? Are you running? Run, run, run! Run! <laughs> run, run, run! So I'm gonna be tearing this piece off. We just tore it off to see what's back there. This is a vent for the fridge. Um, but it, to me, it looks like there's way too much space. You see back there, um, yeah, we could make this better. So I'm gonna rebuild this. Um, not quite sure how to go about it yet, but that's the plan. And so I'm gonna build it a little bit smaller and use a little bit better wood, and then we can maybe hang up some baskets and such for later. So that's the plan right now. All right, so I have this all tore out. This had carpet on it, just the same as this one over here. Um, and I tore that off, and now I'm thinking I'm going to trim this off with the jigsaw so that I can frame this out better when I rebuild. Ooh. Also, one other thing I wanna try is adding another outlet on this side. And I called my dad and asked him how to do it because he's kind of an electrician, or he used to be. And he kind of explained the process <laughs> of putting in another, um, receptacle here so see how it works if i can do that or not okay so this wire right here is a tv cable and we don't have tv so i just unhooked this and i'm going to use these little wall tack whatever they're called to just attach it to the back wall. That way if someone in the future wants to re-hook up the TV cable, it's still there. But for now, we don't need it. So I'm gonna try to hook up a outlet instead right at this end. There's the TV wire hooked against the wall. Just cut this piece. The top was at a bit of an angle and I had to notch this out. So we'll see if this actually fits. Is the baby hungry and whiny and ready to go inside? Hey, mom can never stick it something very long. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this um, to fit pretty well, and now it's not going to focus very well on the corners, on the edges. This thing is so off center that, yeah, things aren't matching up quite, so I'm just gonna, yeah, frame everything out. And then on this side, I want to put in a receptacle. We'll see how my electrical skills are. Crossing our fingers.
see if I know how to hook this up. So my husband said that black goes to gold, black to gold, white to silver, and brown wire to green. Sorry, I look like a fright. Huh, it's been quite the day, but I wanna try to get this finished. So here we go. I died. Sure was nice knowing y'all. Oh, I hate doing this. Guess everything's off. Ah! 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 Just kidding. <laughs> okay, this just looks interesting. Ouch. No idea what I'm doing. All right. Three wires, guys. But I just see a black, a white, and a other weird color. Maybe that's the ground. All right, wish me luck. This just seems kind of crazy. Why is there only one place for a ground wire? That's stupid. You're amazing. This is a little too short. Bless his heart. It was an extremely tight fit. We worked at it for a while, but we got it in. I am excited about this. I cannot wait to start painting. Get all this looking really nice. Anyway, it's getting late. It's been kind of a long day. I'm calling this good. It still needs stapled and everything. But yeah, at least that project's basically finished. Oh, we're working at it one day at a time. Today was another one of those days where everything is kind of meh. So, trying to stay enthused about this project, which I am, but some days things fly together, the next day they just, you don't know, feel good, and the baby's grumpy, and things just don't go quite as well. But, we're getting there! Um, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm telling you, these RVs are so crooked. Ceiling, sloping, everything's just completely not square. I framed this out. I ended up sealing all the cracks and crevices still around the frame. And then on this side, I didn't even bother putting a stripping there because this tilts this much this way and everything is off that when I actually added that, this was going to look real, everything was just gonna look really bad. It would be a lot worse telling that it's not square. So I didn't frame that out. But can't you just see this all painted white? A cute little sign hanging there, maybe a little green fern. <laughs> I'm getting so excited, so that's finished. Bathroom is mostly finished. Next thing is um, put a plastic piece over this part, which that shouldn't be take too long, and then start framing out the dinette, making it stronger. I'm really hoping I can get that done before March, which I have, uh, let's see, I probably have a week. Do I have a week yet? Or is it March next week? I'm not even sure, but I'm hoping I can try to have this, this all done in, in a week's time. And then what'll be left is building out this front part.
Oh, and the other thing I'm kind of pleased about, I finally figured out how to do a um, 45 degree cut. It's very simple, but I seem to never be able to master it before finally was able to do it after a few mistakes, but yeah.